Right, welcome back everyone. It's Kabir Bhutto here from OCEA. In this lecture, I'm gonna go through one question which is related to flexural analysis of beam. So the question here says that figure number one shows a simply supported beam and the cross section at mid span. So we have a simply supported beam and this cross section has been taken uh, from the mid span of this beam. The beam supports a uniform service dead load consisting of its own weight plus 1.4 kip per fit and a uniform service live load of 1.5 kip per fit. And this beam is subject to a dead UDL as well as live UDL of certain value and material properties are also given the compressive strength of concrete is equal to uh, 3500 psi and uh, yield strength of steel is equal to 60,000 psi. Further, it says that use load and strength reduction factor from ACI code section. That is, we have to utilize the strength design method. And what we are required to evaluate in this question is to uh, calculate phi mn and mu here at this point, at the mid span of this beam. Phi mn is the resistance provided by the cross section at this point, and mu, uh, which is also known as the factored moment or bending load effect. Uh, we have to calculate it here and in the end we have to compare mu with phi mn and in this cross section this is the height of the section and this is the width of the section represented by b and this is the effective depth represented by d and this distance is from the extreme compressive fiber uh, to the centroid of steel placed in the tension zone you calculate mu First, I need to evaluate the factored UDL coming onto this beam. So we have service, uh, service dead load and service live load that is unfactored loads have been given. And to obtain WU, WU is equal to uniform service dead load represented by WD plus uniform service live load. And according to ACI code, dead load should be multiplied by 1.2 and live load is multiplied by 1.6 to convert them into factored loads and this whole thing is called the load combination and the value of WL is given as equal to 1.5 kip per fit 1.5 kip per fit and W dead load is equal to 1.4 kip per fit plus the self-weight of the beam and in order to calculate the self-weight of the beam we need to multiply the unit weight of reinforced concrete with the cross-sectional dimension of the beam and this would give us the self-weight of the beam so self-weight of the beam is equal to uh, gamma rc multiplied by the cross-sectional dimension and gamma RC is equal to 0 0.150 kip per fit cube and the dimensions of the beam are 12 by 24 inch and we need to convert them into fit in order to make the unit consistent and this gives us so the total uniform service dead load is equal to 1.4 plus 0 0.3 and if we plug in the value of WD here and WL here, WU is equal to WU is equal to 4.44 kip per fit. So we have a beam which is subjected to a UDL of intensity 4.44 kip per fit and has a length of 20 fit and we know that in this in this case bending movement will be maximum at the center decreasing towards the support and since we need to calculate MU here at the mid span of this beam the value of moment here is equal to WU L square by 8. And if we just plug in the value of WU here and L equals 20 fit, MU is equal to 
mu is equal to 2 to 2 kip fit so the bending load effect coming at the center span of the beam is equal to 2 to 2 kip fit and now I'm going to calculate the resistance provided by the cross section at the mid span of the beam and to do that I'm going to follow uh, these steps here and let's apply these steps the second step is to calculate the value of A, that is the depth of compressive stress block. So what is this A? According to the latest ACI code, the strength design method is based on failure strength limits. For instance, if this is the cross section of the beam, of the reinforced concrete beam, and this is the area of steel provided in the tension zone, and this here is the neutral axis line, that is the line of zero stress, and if I draw the strain diagram at failure level or at ultimate level, it would be something like this. And strain in steel would be epsilon S and strain in concrete would be epsilon Cu. That is the ultimate strain in concrete and this uh, design limit strain according to ACI code is equal to 0.003. That is, if the extreme compressive fiber reaches this strain limit, the concrete is crushed and the beam hence fails. And this here is the compressive stress diagram uh, corresponding to this strain diagram. And if I want to calculate uh, the internal compressive force represented by cap capital C, I need to calculate the volume of this whole uh, blue shaded region. And this would give me the internal compressive force C. Similarly, if I want to calculate T, T here would be equal to area of steel multiplied by the stress in steel. But to simplify the calculation of this internal compressive force, uh, ACI code permits us to use the compressive stress block proposed by Whitney. And the depth that I mentioned earlier, that is A, that is the depth of compressive stress block, is the depth of this block that was proposed by Whitney. And the intensity of this block over this area is equal to 0.85 Fc prime. And this here is the width of the section. Now if I just multiply these three dimensions, A multiply 0.85 Fc prime and B, it would give me this capital C. Capital C is equal to 0.85 Fc prime into AB. And this line here is the neutral axis. So C, small c is the distance from the top extreme compressive fiber to the neutral axis. And this A and C, that is depth of compressive stress block and depth of neutral axis can be related by the equation A equals to beta 1 C. This beta 1 parameter here is dependent upon the value of Fc prime. So if Fc prime is less than or equal to 4000 psi beta 1 is equal to 0.85 and now if this fc prime uh, increases by 1000 psi this beta factor would decrease by 0 0.05 for instance if fc prime is equal to 5000 psi beta 1 would be equal to 0 0.80 and if this becomes 6000 psi this would be uh, 0.75 and the minimum value of beta is equal to 0.65 okay now let's proceed with our calculation so let me first draw the stress and strain diagram for this section this is the neutral axis line and this is the tension force in this area of steel and this is the compression force and we will be using the Whitney's stress block. So C here, this intensity here is equal to 0.85 Fc prime. And the depth of stress block is A. And the depth of neutral axis is C. And T we know that is equal to A is M2 Fs. To calculate this value of A, applying section equilibrium. And 
according to that c is equal to t and c is equal to 0.85 fc prime a b and t is equal to a s into f s and we will make an assumption here that f s is equal to f y that is the stress in steel is equivalent to uh, the yield strength uh, this is an assumption we have to check it later on and verify it uh, whether or not it's correct so basically what we are trying to say here is that the strain in steel is greater than or equal to the yield strength of steel that is when the concrete reaches its failure strength the strain in steel would be greater than the yield strength of steel and because of this assumption this becomes so fc prime here in the quotient it was given as equal to 3.5 ksi and b is equal to 12 inches which is the width of the section this is b h and this is d that is the effective depth and this is the area of steel and fy was equal to 60 ksi in the quotient and area of steel we see here we have three number nine bar so area of steel is equal to pi by four into three by nine by eight into squared this is the area of single bar and since we have three bars multiply it by three insert this value of as here and we would get this equation a from here is equal to 2.98 into 60 divided by 0.85 into 3.5 into 12 and a is equal to 5.008 inches and to calculate and now to evaluate the value of c we will be using this equation c is the depth of neutral axis that is the distance from the top extreme compressive fiber to uh, the line of neutral axis and c from here is equal to a upon beta 1 and since since fc prime is equal to 3500 psi and it's less than 4000 psi beta 1 is equal to point Eight five, and C. If we substitute the value of A in beta one, A upon beta one is equal to point eight five five point eight nine inches.